I know we talked about this a little bit, but uh, solo, I, I know, Emily, you said this at the top of the program, like you won't play much solo queue. You enjoy this game more with friends, right? And I have to agree with you because I, I also find that at least my personal experience, solo queue has been a little bit toxic and I haven't been enjoying it as much as playing with friends. And actually, uh, the executive producer of Valorant, Anna Donlin, has said the exact same thing. Uh, she has Whoa. said that, uh, unfortunately comments that she has seen or even received is why she can't uh, participate or she won't participate in solo queue either. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go and like trash solo queue because I think like it, it just has like a lot of inherent problems. Um, all I'll say is that like I will not and and I know people have like uh, supported me very positively on, on Twitter for I guess speaking out about this. So thank you. Um, I mean, you can also flame me for it, whatever. I, I can handle getting flamed for being bad, but what I cannot handle is teammates refusing to communicate with you, and that happens every time I open my mouth. So until I get a voice changer to sound like a man, it's really hard for me to queue up with uh with random people. Yeah, that needs. I mean, to this is this is not new. In, so in... Lucky. Yeah, like I mean, there's nothing there's nothing yeah. I can do that's gonna fix it, right? So like, it's just something that I've had to deal with in every in everything where you use voice chat. Just hit escape and uh, report for negative attitude and verb obvious and uh, See, hope for okay. the best. Yes. I, I will I will say, Wait, though, that there was... Point. Jacob, hold on. The, I think that the, the game is free to play, right? So everybody can play. It's very easy. There's a low barrier to entry to play this game. But there should also be a stricter enforced policy on bad actors i think it's uh, you have to you enough. have to be really you have to be really careful you have to I be mean, really careful the line you walk riot riot well, has always been happens every game yeah honestly. riot is riot like, is, is always a societal been... thing and like i know that's really yeah. shitty to say but like like speaking as someone who gets a lot of really shitty shitty comments for no other reason than literally opening my mouth and calling out some sort of uh map position um that shouldn't happen like, just sucks. I mean, of course it shouldn't happen, but what, what are you going to do about it? Except Be strict know, try, about it and ban these people shitty. strictly. I mean, Riot, Riot has done a little bit... Some people criticize them for going a little too ham on, on the way they've handled League of Legends. Not specific to, like, women uh, and verbal abuse, but more so just, like, in general, right? Like... The tribunal was a huge meme, and there was a guy named Light that worked uh, at Riot that he, like <laughs> oh, would tribunal. like. He Late was smile. I I don't miss I don't miss this guy because he like actually sort of was like, su turned out to be super weird. But nonetheless, um, yeah, like they they've made examples of people publicly on chat forums and stuff about that. I don't want that to happen anymore. Um, but I do think that like policing you know. policing policing your game is important. Uh, so yeah, I think uh. I don't know. I there was a Monte Cristo tweet today about um there was a Monte Cristo tweet today about banning people who are negative actors more than cheaters. Um the Vanguard anti cheat also isn't particularly accurate yet because I think they haven't figured out all the various different cheats you can do in, in Valorant. Um because these people can move faster than they can, um, as a big company. But yeah, I think that uh it's something they need to watch. And I definitely think first person shooter communities uh more generally because especially because they have voice chat in the game where league doesn't uh at least across part or across the entire game and not just party uh they're gonna encounter a lot more issues they've not faced in league of legends in terms of people saying things to people over voice and they're gonna have to have ai programs that recognize that so yeah it's uh work in progress a lot of new challenges for right games that is for sure and then you have russia where they can't even talk so i mean i, I think that's a big problem in europe right now yeah. I, mean, I was watching the prom yeah. stream yesterday and it's it's every time it's just like oh it's the Russian the the high Russian player can't communicate with him because they have an actual law where they mm. can't actually use uh, voice programs inside of games so it's a myriad out of issues that I I I actually really do like the right or the the Valorant dev team and I think they will do their best to combat what they can but again this is a universal issue that people are just scumbags. And I mean, for yeah. me personally, as long as I can like queue up with five friends yeah. that are at about the same level and don't mind that I'm bad and competitive, that honestly solves like all of the problems for me. 
because I can queue up with people who are at about the same level. I can communicate them without them saying some weird, creepy sex thing, and it'll be fine. Like, that's that actually, you, like, honestly solves all my problems. That's and, you as somebody enough. who enjoys the game casually, but for somebody like yourself, who wants to take this game seriously and play as much as possible like that can't I know that this is a thing Yeah, in every that game, that is but... the part that actually is the part that sucks. Like if I actually want to get serious, which it's actually just generally really hard for me to get good at any game because I because I watch so many games and I really want to be kind of a more of an analytical voice, especially for something like League of Legends. Um I I try to digest a lot of games and that just leaves a lot less time to play. Uh, however, yes, if I really did want to get good at the game, it would be a yes. lot more difficult for me to get good at this game as opposed to something like League where I can, you know, communicate entirely through pings and it's not a big deal that I, that I don't use voice chat. Speaking of communication. It's, it shouldn't, it sh I was just going to, I wanted to, I wanted to just say like, it shouldn't be on you that you, uh, it shouldn't be on you that you have to take the abuse and just like eat it, right? Like just to want to be able to play. I mean, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't. I mean, I know it shouldn't that's be like a terrible attitude to have, and I'm not no, being but, like a good. But that, good, but that like, attitude, uh, like that attitude, is is exactly what like we should not. But want you just have young. to learn to deal. Yeah, it's like it yeah. I was about to say that that attitude is like not the attitude we want for girls, like younger girls, to have that are wanting to play games like this, right? Like we we shouldn't. We sh you are, are you've played games for a long time. You've dealt with us in various different games prior to Valorant. So like you, it's not really a thick skin. It's just like you, you've gotten used to having to deal with it. And like, but it shouldn't be that way anyway. So yeah, it shouldn't be that way. I want my daughter to have a good experience playing video games. I want everyone who has any female in their life to have a good experience. Like anyway.